Hey guys, so this is a continuation of the last video that I posted. Uh, remember that the last video that I posted was, uh, and you could find it, is um, how you can get your three credit reports and scores for just uh, by paying just a little over one dollar. Okay, now uh, when you do that and you go through the process and it just takes a few minutes, uh, you will generate your Experian credit report. Well, you're going to generate all your credit reports, right? Your Experian, your TransUnion. And your Equifax report. Now, I want to focus on the Experian report that you're going to get right now. And uh, I'm using now uh, uh, as an example uh, one of the reports that was generated from somebody who came over here and uh, we sat down. We went, uh, you know, we uh, we processed everything. And this, um, uh, these are the last few pages of the Experian report. And as you can see over here, that this was just done um, last month on May 11th of 2021. And the reason why I wanted to highlight this is because, uh, you know, um, I, I get a lot of people who tell me, hey, Rob, you know, I have uh, Credit Karma or, uh, you know, some other um, uh, like like credit monitoring service and they get their scores on their phone, on their app. Right. So, you know, Credit Karma, for example, is telling me that my score is at 740. OK. Um, and uh, or my uh, Capital One um, app is telling me that my score is at you know 650. What a, lot of people, what a lot of people don't know uh, is that that score is really what's called your Vantage score. So Vantage is spelled V as in Victor, A-N-T-A-G-E, your Vantage score. All right, now, as you can see over here, all right, all right, right here, this is your FICO score. So those two scores are different, all right, and um, many people don't know that. Now, you know, it's great that, you know, you are on Credit Karma and you're, you know, just um, just aware of your score. I mean, that, that, that right there is half the battle, right? Uh, but don't be surprised if you want to go buy a car and your uh, Credit Karma score is 750 and then they pull your credit and they say that your score is uh, 620. And you're going to say to yourself, well, like, why? Why is that? Well, because there's various scores around and people don't know this. And this is why I'm making this video so that when you do uh, get your credit report for the one dollar and you check your Experian one, right? Now your TransUnion, not now your Equifax. I mean, you're going to check those as well, but they don't have these scores. They don't have additional scores. I want to highlight to you, uh, you know, what the, what does it mean? So, so, for example, this is these are the last nine pages of this particular person's uh, um, uh, Experian credit report. All right, and I want to show you why it's important to know the differences, and you know, with your scores, all right, and why it's important to get these reports. Okay, so for example, um, over here, uh, uh, the FICO score eight, right? So there's something called the FICO score eight, and it's kind of like your general score is a six ninety. Okay, so you see over here, it says six hundred ninety points, which is which is good. Ooh. Sorry about that. I think it's in the good category, all right? Uh, and I think they need like another 40, 50 points to reach the very good category. Um, now, so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to show you. Uh, as, well, first of all, before I do that, I'm going to read over here what it says over here. It says, your score is near or slightly above the average of U.S. consumers and most lenders consider this a good score. All right, so now I'm going to go down to these pages. The next page will give me the FICO score two, right? Now, what does it say? This says 710, all right? Now let's read what it says over here. This is a previous FICO score version used primarily in mortgage lending. It may also be used by some lenders for other credit product applications, valuations, such as credit cards, personal loans, retail credit, student loans, and etc. So if you are um, going to, if you're shopping around for a mortgage, this is the score that's going to come up, right? So it's not going to be the 690, it'll be the 710. All right, so once again, you know, you'll see that your Credit Karma score or your uh, Capital One score, you know, may not be correct. I mean, it's correct for the Vantage, but it not be, you know, you, you, you may be surprised if you don't get accepted by a credit card or, or a mortgage or even an auto loan. So I'm going to keep on scrolling down over here. Over here, now you have... Ooh, your FICO bank card score number two. Now let's read over here. 
it's used for credit card lending okay now once again you may have your credit karma that's going to tell you your score is at 750 but then when you apply for a credit card you may not get the credit limit that you want or you may not even get the credit card um, uh, application approved why because of the 693 score now if you have a 693 score most likely you will get uh, um, this credit card approved but you may not and once again you may be surprised like well you know I have a 750 well you don't you have a 693 okay so uh, this is another one over here a FICO bank score bank card score 8 661 Ooh. so you see that you see the difference over here and this is also for credit card lending you have another one over here FICO score number 3 687 used primarily in credit card lending okay that's what it says over here and then now you have the FICO auto score 8 and it's 659 right and over here obviously you know if it says auto score it's used for auto lending so if you go into a local um, auto dealership let's say it's Ford or Toyota or Honda right want to buy a new car once again you go in there with this confidence that because Credit Karma tells you that your score is at 750 760 780 which is fantastic you go in there thinking that you're gonna get you know maybe a one or two percent rate they run your credit they check your FICO auto score rate and it comes out to a 659 and they tell you hey it's a 659 and you're confused you're thinking what like how does this work why is there the why are why are all like why is my credit score not the same as what it says on credit karma or on an app that you have on your phone now you see the reason why right now the reason why i'm letting you know this is because please keep tabs on your credit score all right keep it as high as possible when you enhance your credit scores then it enhances all your scores okay when you enhance your credit i mean your credit profile it enhances all your scores all right what's the next one over here Ooh, another one FICO auto score number two so which one was this up here this was FICO auto score eight and now you have FICO auto score two and that's a 652 right now why are these like this I you know what uh, I don't make up the rules this is the FICO scores now am I going to complain why why we have all these scores no I'm not it's a matter of playing the game. Once again, as I mentioned in a few other videos, you are participating in the game already. You are playing the game. So let's say it's a soccer game. You may or may not know this, but you are playing the soccer game, okay? And if you pick up the ball with your hands, that's gonna be a handball. So you're not playing the game the way it, sh it should be. Let's say you slide tackle somebody and you get a red card. You're not playing the game that is, that, that, uh, in the way that, that it's supposed to be played. Let's say you score in your own goal, all right, using your hands, <laughs> okay? You're not playing the game that you're supposed to be. But what you have to recognize and acknowledge is that you are nonetheless playing the game. So learn to play the game, right? There are rules. There's regulations with this game. It's very, they're very, very simple to play, all right? It's just a matter of like learning a little bit and just and just knowing that you're always going to be playing this game. So as you can see over here, this credit profile has various credit scores. One is 690, 710, <sighs> sorry for the yawning, 693, 661, 687, 659, 652, right? So the difference between the highest score and the lowest score, I think, what was it, 710? 652, 710 minus 652, that's 48, 58, right? So that's a huge difference. Once again, you may go into a Toyota dealership thinking that you're at 750, but take away 58 from that, that's uh, 692. And you're wondering, okay, why am I getting a 5% rate, 6% rate on my car and not a lower rate why because of this okay so for all of y'all for for everybody who you know downloaded the credits uh, reports in my instructional video 
uh, in my other video, then when you see the last few pages of your Experian credit report, this is what you're going to see. And hopefully uh, I've explained uh, why you have these scores, um, how they work, and uh, you know just use them to your benefit, all right? Um, and that's about it. Any other questions? I mean, if you have any questions, just give me a holler, give me a call at 908-432-2526, all right? And I'll see you in, and see you in the next video.